everybody. Welcome to the Redesign with Prima group. My name is Leah and I am the owner of Leah Noel Design Co and a brand ambassador here with Redesign. Um, and today I'm coming live in the group to show you guys how to use molds. Um, so if you could just do me a favor, say hi if you can see me. Um, just send me a comment so I know I'm live in the right group and everything is working correctly. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just keep filtering through so that I can bring you this tutorial and um, you guys can kind of see how to use these different materials. So say hi as you guys come on. Um, this little cabinet, I don't know what it's called when I originally bought it. I thought that it was a like cigar box. Um, so I had purchased it thinking that. Then come to find out, I guess a cigar box would have like tin on the inside. Good morning, Kathy. And this one doesn't. So it's it's just a cute little box. Of course, it could have cigars in it if that's what you want to keep in it, but I don't really foresee it being like that. So we're gonna add some floral, um, we're gonna add some floral molds. Who doesn't love molds? Has anyone here never used molds? Hi, Sarah. Awesome. Thanks for joining me today, guys. So I'm gonna use molds. I'm gonna use, I, I have one of the new molds and then I have some of the older molds. Um, what I love about molds is I've just kind of started getting into them and I just did a big armoire with lots and lots of molds on them. And what I love about them is that you get this, you get a mold, right? You could totally put chocolate in it. I did that this weekend um, and make a chocolate mold, but you can use this thousands of times. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use them, but that's the coolest thing. Like you can, you can buy one and you can use it and use it and use it. So there's a couple different materials you could use. Prima has sells, your Prima retailer sells molding material. Okay. And so I'm going to use this a little bit today. And I actually do like the molding material. The molding material is like a clay. Okay. It's like, it comes like this. It's like a clay. Um, and I do like the molding material because you can mold it around curved surfaces, okay? Which I'm gonna do here. Um, but I also use resin a lot. And what I've learned with the resin is that you can use the resin to, as long as you pull it out while it's still a little bit wet, you can use it to, you could still kind of mold it, um, but it doesn't mold as like, you can't mold it as true as you can with the molding material. So I like to use both. Um, disclaimer here, I am using, let me show you guys. So I am really getting into molds. So I bought gallon sizes of resin from um, Brandy. If you guys know Brush by Brandy, she recommended it from Joe's Art Supplies Cheap, something like that. So I ordered resin like this. You could order Fast Cast off Amazon and I didn't save the box. I threw it away. I should have saved it to show you guys. Um, but you can order fast cast or you can go to Joanne Fabrics and get fast cast, but I'm going to use, um, I, I'm just using resin from here. So basically all resin is, is it's part A, part B, part, um, one part's the hardener, one part's the resin. So what you do is you mix a one to one ratio for resin. And I'm going to go ahead and tip this because I'm going to, um, I'm going to discuss this and then we're going to get right on with this. So I can show you guys how to do it. I already poured it. I buy shot glasses from the dollar store like this because I use a lot of them. So you get like, I don't know, like you, you get a lot of these for a dollar. And then I use solo cups because it's like one time use. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and mix them. I already poured them. I like to pour them to the first line up here. Like the first, let me show you right here because it'll be really, this will be a really good tip for those of you guys who have never used resin before. So there's like three little lines on this cup. I like to pour it to the first line. I notice if I do it all the way to the top, the resin gets hard before I can pour it. So I like to, um, I like to not use so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and tip this camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing a little better. Okay, let me get my water out of the way. I'm gonna need uh, some wooden sticks. So I have my wooden sticks. Can you guys see okay? I want to pour, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece down right here. Let me know if you can see okay. I want to have this kind of angling 
And then I'm gonna have like flowers like kind of coming over it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna lay down right here, but I'm not gonna glue it yet. I don't know why, I'm just not going to. <laughs> um, and I have my I have my cup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and once you mix these, once you, you these can sit in the cups all day long, part A and part B, and never like have a problem. But once you mix them, they are, they're gonna start getting hard. So you wanna pour them right away. So I'm just gonna pull this camera right here so you guys can see better. I want you guys to be able to see. Um, you will be able to see me, but you'll be able to see my hands and what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's good. So we're just creating these. Now I've created some before and they're hard, okay? They're hard and they don't move, but if you, if you start like playing with them and using them while they're soft, then they will, um, they're, they're easy to move. So like, if you guys saw the armoire I just did, I used them while they were still soft. So I'm just gonna like mix this for like 10 seconds and I'm gonna put it in this one. Mix, mix, mix. And, and this one's gonna be easy to pour because it's big. As I'm pouring this resin, um, I really, I really don't want extra. Like I'd rather it be, I would rather pour it not to be enough than to be fat. Like the goal is you don't want your resin to be fat because then it's hard to glue down. So I wanna pour it and I don't want it to really go, um, I don't want it to exceed the limits of the mold. So that's about good, maybe just a little more. There's a couple spots. And this is gonna start getting hard. As it turns white, it's getting hard. So I have a little bit left. I'm gonna see if I can just go ahead and fit it in here. There is way more resin in here than you think. I always like to have extra molds out because uh, what I do is if I don't have, like say I have extra, which I do, right? I would have thought that that would have only have filled this, but it filled this, it filled this, and it'll probably fill this little flower too. And then I can keep these little flowers for other projects that I do. Um, and that way none of the resin goes to waste. And this was a really good example because none of the resin goes, went to waste here. Um, these actually filled, these actually filled really nice, really, really nice. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the molding material and then we're gonna apply it to there. So the molding material I'm gonna use for these new little um, banner things. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of these out. And I'm live right now. My husband just walked in. Um, thinking he's gonna saw something, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the molding material. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of pinch it a little bit. And I'm gonna use it on here. Now the reason I'm gonna use the molding material here is because I think that if I use it right here, it's gonna, I'm gonna use it on this line. Um, I kind of feel like it's gonna mold better. Um, I'm gonna be able to connect my ends better. We'll see if that's true or not. But if you wanna look right here, you can see how it's getting white. Um, it, it, it's starting to get hard. Resin makes me so nervous, I've never used it before. I totally get that. I know how you feel. Um, it, it is a little nerve wracking and you will, like when I was using it last week, I, uh, it was the first time I used a lot of it and it made me really nervous. But once you get the hang of it, you just kinda, you could just kinda go and go and go. I probably should have put cornstarch in here first, but I didn't. But this is the molding material. So if the resin makes you nervous, you could use the molding material. Um, the molding material though, it will crack. It will kind of crack on you and give more of a, a rustic look, I would say, like an old world cracked look. So if you're looking for that kind of distress in your finish, um, the molding material will really help achieve that. If you're looking for more of a clean look, the resin would be best. You can see it's getting white. So it's gonna probably take a good, uh, it might take about 10 minutes for this to set up. So while that's setting up, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if this will peel out and stick just fine on here. 
Um, one of the things I've learned using the molds is that um, with the molding material, you at first when I started using it, I was like placing it around. So what I would do is I would put it in, right? We're going to go ahead and pull this out. That's actually pulling out easy. I didn't even use hard starch. Except for this little piece here, which is fine. So I'm just pulling it out. Um, when I first started using this, I what I was doing was I was like going, okay, I want to wrap this around here. And I would set it on there. And I would hope that um, it, it would like take the form. And then I would, once it was dry, I would glue it on. You want to glue it on while it's wet. So right now, if I like the way this looks, I would just glue it on. Um, I'm actually just going to let that sit there for a second. And I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna play with this one. I might like this one better. So I'm just, I'm gonna see which one I like better or maybe I'll like the roses better, we'll see. So we're just gonna kind of play around and see which ones we like better. Well, these are getting hard. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we will glue those on. So this is a new mold. This is called Sicilian Borders. It is very Sicilian looking, very fancy. So if you're uh, molds too, if you're if you're like new to using resin and molds, it's probably a good idea. They're they're the best things for like um, using on like picture frames or old boxes like this or jewelry boxes. They're they're easy. You could definitely practice a lot before you do it on your actual furniture. But I know a lot of you guys don't even do furniture. A lot of you guys just do crafts too. So um, they're great crafting things. I'm kind of the opposite. I always just did furniture and now I'm starting to enjoy the crafting side a little bit lately. Because it's fun and it's quick. And it makes good gifts. Okay, so let's see if we like this one. So this one. Oh, that one's fancy too. Let me see if I can. You can see the detail in this one. So we could just, I could put this on here. Um, I'm going to actually have this like coming down around here. Um, both of these seem a little thin. I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with this one. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to glue this down right now. What I'm going to use to glue is um, tight bond, quick and thick. Okay. And while it's still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and just stick, I would do the same thing with my resin as we're gonna see, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put the glue on here. I'm gonna start at the bottom. And I'm gonna, just stick some glue here. And this will take about a day for it to dry and then I can paint it. But I wanna make sure that that's on there. Um, what I found is that this curve here, I could do this with the resin, um, but I think that I just find it easier to do with the molding material. So I like to use both on one project. It's nice to be able to have those different materials to actually use and form um, with your piece. Okay, so I'm gonna set this away. I'm gonna set this away so it doesn't get, this stuff dries out actually. I feel like the molding material does dry out semi quickly. This I can like kind of, with the resin, I'm just gonna pop it up a little. It's still not ready. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make another one of these to go up our leg here. Have any of you guys gotten these newer molds yet? The Sicilian borders. So 
just going to smoosh it in. I found that this molding material is a lot easier to use than paper clay. I used to use, um, I have used, I shouldn't say used to, I have used paper clay and I found that the paper clay was really hard to work with. Um, so I definitely do prefer this molding material because it peels out nice and easy. So we're just going to push that out. Okay. Pull it up. We're going to glue this on. Hi, Roz. Hey, hey. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this. And then I'm going to glue this flower because we're going to, um, we're going to go ahead and glue those on afterwards when they're soft. Let me turn this light down a little. Sometimes it's like, oh, let's see. You can't even see the detail in this flower. Um, here, I think I may actually use this one. If you can see here, which you can't, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not. Oh, there we go. You can see here I poured too much. So this is kind of fat and it sits funny. You can see here, um, I actually took this, I, I took this off a piece um, that I was using and I poured it too thin, but it actually will work better. And since I'm gonna be painting over it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this one. I think I'm gonna glue this one now. And then I have my box of like leftover ones. I also, this is a mold I thought about using here, but I think I want to kind of have like the floral thing going on. I want a lot of floral going on. So let's get to gluing. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did before. I'm just going to draw a line. This tight bond actually, um, it does stick fairly quickly and well. We're gonna try and just make it even. It always amazes me how bad it looks before the paint. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna glue this one down. And I'm gonna layer, I'm gonna layer my flowers. Um, this one I had used E600 glue on and I'm not crazy about the E600 glue. Um, I was using it a lot and then I started using this tight bond and I much prefer it, it's easier to use. And it doesn't, you don't get high off it like you do the airplane glue stuff. Gives you a big headache. All right, so I'm just using a chip brush to spread the glue. Now, if I want to pull it off, I can. But for the most part, um, this stuff sticks really well. So I'm just going to, I'm going to make it even. And I'm going to, I don't know if it's going to stick because I had that airplane glue on there. I'm not liking that. You know what? We're going to put that one away. We're going to go with the fatter one. It was not sitting right. Unless I had another one here. I could even do that one. No, we're going to use this one. We're just going to have a little bit of edge on it. It's better. As much as I... I have a box here. These are all like leftover uh, pieces from like pouring resin like this and then, you know, having that leftover and then I just pour it and stick it in a box so I can use it like I am right now. Um, the problem is it doesn't ever sit completely like flat and smooth. So I much prefer to actually create my resin pieces while I'm doing the project instead of like someone asked me the other day like, Hey, can you just have a day where you just make like molds all day and then put them on your project? And the answer is yes, you can. But I find that it'll fit your project better because I'm even having like, there's a little bit of space right here that I'm not crazy about. So I like to do my molds the same day as I do my projects. <laughs> yeah. And you know, as much as I want to save them and I don't want to like waste my material, I don't want to clutter up my shop either with stuff that makes me feel like, um, you know, like a rose I'm never going to use because it just, the airplane glue is on it and nobody's got time to scrape that off. All right, let's make another one of these and these are almost ready. And this is what you guys have been waiting for. So these are hot at the bottom and I can see I missed a little spot right here. It's fine. I don't, I don't really worry about stuff like that. Um, but this will, we're going to let those just sit for a minute and then we're going to apply them. Um, I cannot wait to paint this. I'm thinking I'm going to paint it in like duck egg blue 
with some Dixie Dirt and some gold gilding wax. It's kind of what I'm feeling for this piece. Something elegant and fun that maybe I can give to my grandma for Mother's Day. So I got my molding material in. I just want to kind of scrape it. I love the way the molding material scrapes. It comes off really easy. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead. You guys see how easy this is? And I'm going to be able to just kind of come right up through here and around. And it's going to take this really super, super boring cigar box to something I don't know, something fun, like a little nightstand. I like giving little tables like this as gifts, you know, for like, I don't know, like, I feel like this kind of stuff is like the perfect gift for like, um, my aunt had a birthday party because she turned like, I don't know how old she is, like 75 or something, 75, eight, maybe she was 80, I can't even remember, something. And uh, I made her like a little tiny table like this and she loved it. It was like so cool. All right, where are my baby wipes? But it's just something little or um, a lot of times for these little tables too, um, like when charities and stuff ask me for items, I'll, I'll give them something small because it's, you know, if somebody wins something at like an, um, like at an event like that, you want them to be able to put it in their car and take it home. So that's what I like to use these for, these little things. Gifts and auction items. All right, let's take these out. So I want to layer this one on over that one, and I think it's ready. Let's see. Nope, it's not. It needs about two more minutes. Let's see if this one's ready. This one's smaller. So I can see, you, you can kind of feel underneath. Let me turn this light down. So you can kind of feel underneath. It'll start to just kind of pop up where... Um, this one here, I can feel it underneath, but do you see how I'm pushing and it's not, it's not coming up with that resin? It, it is a little bit, but it, it just needs another, it just needs, it's starting to come up. It's starting to come up. It may, it may need another minute on the smaller parts. Here we go. Let's do it really slow. So this is hot. It's warm feeling. So we're just gonna push it up and out. See here, it's still a little gummy, but the good thing is it's gonna form, it's gonna form nice for us. So I'm just gonna kind of, um, I'm just gonna pull it out. What is this one? In bloom, this one's in bloom. So I'm hoping, look at, it's still bendy, still bendy. And it's not gonna stay bendy for long. So we're gonna come over here and I just, I wanna layer it. So, can you guys see? So right here, I wanna layer it. So I have one flower. I mean, I could layer it like this, but then I know I really can't because, so I wanna layer it like this. And then I'll have more flowers kind of in through here. So I'm gonna go ahead right now because it's wet or it's warm. I do not have much working time here. This resin, especially since it's bigger, it's gonna get hard fast. So I'm just gonna use my chip brush. I'm gonna spread so much glue around, probably more than I need. Probably way more and it's okay. As you can see, there's nothing to be afraid of. If, 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 if something goes wrong, you just change it. And I'm just gonna push this down and I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna really just hold that center in and really just let that kind of stick. And these are all gonna stick together. Um, I like the tight bond because it's multi-surface. If I was using just wood glue, it would only stick to the glue uh, or only stick to the wood. So I'm just trying to kind of get those layers to come together and just stick. And it, it's working really well. Look at that. Look at that. I wish you guys could see, like, let me see if I can get a better angle. 
light doesn't help. All right. So I'm just gonna hold this down for another minute while that resin is still bendy because it will pop back up. Now this, as I'm using resin, and I'm really thinking about this, um, I know that some of my edges are gonna pop up and there's gonna be gaps more with the resin, more so than with the molding material. So you kind of have two options. If you want to really have it sealed down and bonded to like this flower here, um, you could use the molding material. But with the molding material, you will get cracks. I don't see any way around it. With the resin, you will get a more solid um, mold. Does that make sense? So it just kind of is what you, what you want. If you're gonna put it flat and you want a solid mold, um, you know, that's totally fine too. All right, let's pull this one out because I was thinking of using this one and I don't know if I will. So this one is uh, Kingsbury. Let me come over here. I feel like the lighting was a little better. So we have Kingsbury and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Hi, Jennifer. Okay. And we're gonna just pull it out same way. And I'm gonna come over here. I think you guys can actually see that better like that. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna put this right here. I'm kind of feeling like there, or there. I think it's gonna get both. So I'm gonna put it here because I feel like it fits well here. And I, I really just want this to be heavily layered. So I'm just gonna wipe my glue on it. The, the center is hard, but the edges are soft. That's kind of what I want. I just want a really layered look. And I just have to hold this present down. So. Um, okay, let me see if I can, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera so that you guys can actually see. Okay, so here's what we did right here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep layering this up um, and I'm going to hold this down so that it'll stay. But what I'm talking about with the gaps, like some of this is going to come up because it is resin and it's not molding material. So some of it will come up, but for the most part, I can hold it down um, and it should be able to stay. And then I'm going to fill the rest of this out. So, all right, you guys, I hope that was helpful in explaining the difference and showing you guys how to use the molding material um, versus the resin with the molds. I think you're going to be seeing a lot more molds on my work because I really like I really like the molds, um, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching today. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to me on my business page, Leon Wall Design Co., and I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. So go forth and have a great Tuesday, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.